Bangkok is not a good school to cast. You mind your business. Mind your business and do not follow people. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If this is the first time you see me on your screen, first time you're stopping by at my channel, please, please do the need to you guys subscribe, turn on post notification to get a lot of my next video. And if you like my vibe, please like this video and leave a comment. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for working hard with me, you know, from the get go. And we know what I do, we know what this video is about because it is there in the description box below. So let us gently start because, huh, guys, I have a lot to talk, I have a lot to say. Yeah, I let's say, with no further ado, let's get into this video. Yo, I think there are three things that before you say okay, like you need these things before you say okay, okay, I'm coming to back I'm, I'm packing my box, I'm going to back because I, I I feel like I should have known this. I should have known this before I came to back Number one, you know wire in cables, cables, yeah. Your earpiece, your charger, your laptop charger, all these electrical materials here. Yeah. For safety purposes, please bring your own. So you don't stay hard and come from your house, go and buy the original shit, the original thing and come. Because any earpiece or charger you buy from back up, most of the time, seven out of ten times. These chargers, these earpieces, they only last for like two weeks max, guarantee of two weeks. So you guys, just to prevent had I know, just buy your original one from home and come. Babcock is not for flex. Babcock is not for flex. If you're going to bring the short skates, um, half tips. You get those things, please leave it at home. Leave it at home because even if you just bring one skirt, one black skirt, or one red, any color of skirt, any skirt, is slightly an inch, slightly an inch above your knees. You cannot leave hostel, you cannot leave the hall. As far as this is directed to girls, if I find you coming to work, you cannot leave the hall. You me, I, first first semester I was like I brought it. No, don't worry. I'm so I'm sure they will not know. They will not know. Once the skirt is not below your knee or on your knee, pata pata, they will send you back to the home. Backpack is not the, a good school to cast. You will mind your business. Mind your business and do not follow people. When you when you come to university, like I feel this is the time that you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to be independent, I'm going to be on my own. If your friends, if you want to make friends here, yeah, you want to be part of a popular squad, whatever, I feel these people will find their way to you. You don't have to follow it. Sometimes yeah, you spend unnecessary money, you you get into a lot of arguments unnecessarily because of your following somebody up and down. So day your day, this is university, babe. Bros, day your day. Don't try so hard. This is not high school. Don't try so hard to fit in. Be yourself. People that will be there will come to you. They will come. And mind your business. Casting back up is not sweet. You hear people from different places spreading rumors about you. But <clears throat> if you want to cast in Bangkok, there are some people that have that too. Yo, you can. My friends put together some questions on my journey through first year. Yeah, one thing you should know is I'm a medical student in Bangkok University. And most of the things I'm going to say in this video will be for my point of view as a medical student. My first question is, Okay, the first question is um, 
What was your first complaint about the school and how could it be improved? <laughs> Yo, you guys. No, Bangkok, did you know that Bangkok, they don't eat meat in the school? And they don't take chicken. They don't take turkey either. They don't also take fish. It's not like you can't even eat these things because they have a hotel in school that you go and pay huge. In, in, not huge, huge, but you have to pay like much money than required to get this. But like in the school on the school, they don't give you in the cafeteria, they don't sell this chicken or crazy. And that was like I, I didn't know this. I didn't know this as I was coming to Bangkok. I did not know this at all. Like I knew that Bangkok was a seven-day Adventist school. So when I was coming, my mind was like, okay, the things are meant to are meant to dress well. I can't wear earring or something, but meat and chicken, I didn't know this. So that was pretty much my first complaint. I was like, so for three to four months, yeah, I'm not going to eat chicken. I'm not going to eat meat. Wow. And if I was going to, you know, <laughs> a way it could be improved, well, you know, we need to eat chicken. Why did I choose Bangkok? Honestly, me, I feel like Bangkok chose me. Yo. Bangkok chose me. Because I was meant to come to Bangkok, I was meant to jam, you know. You know how everybody was like, okay, you're going to jam, you're going to jam. After writing in SATs, and I didn't write SATs, I didn't write SATs. I was going to do um, college, then find out my SAT and everything. So I, I was like, okay, I'm going to jam, I'm going to jam. I didn't even take Bangkok seriously. And so some days before my interview to go to like the school I was meant to the college I was meant to go to Bangkok sent a message oh yeah that your accepted to the school of medicine and I stayed reasoning if I jammed I'll still have to if I if I if I do this college I'll take like two years to do this college if I jammed I might still have to do first degree in other qualified to medicine Hong Kong. And this is Bangkok, they're giving me medicine, they're giving me to me. So let me just close my eye and Google just get just the one that I have at hand. Oh my go to food in Bangkok is Indomie. I feel like that's the good food for everybody. Like the Indomie line, the Indomie line in Bangkok can be like it's the longest time. you can ever stand on that song just for Indomie. I know oh my first year oh my. like you come to the line everywhere is like full. You'll be like, let you just go back to your home. But because of you seriously want that Indomie, you just stand in the line. Indomie is my good. Mm. What is my most embarrassing moment actually? Okay, I shall me about one embarrassing moment. Yeah. Okay, one embarrassing moment was one particular Saturday because you know Bangkok is seven day event, so they are Sabbath, they go to church on Saturday. So I went to church now and there's this top I had that was open like this. But I always wear because Bangkok they will not allow you to wear that kind of clothes to come to their school now. So I always wear um, this tube like singlets that covers up to here so the this church after that it was a new church so the ushers there were in hundred level and everything and all the everybody in the church like most people in the church were in hundred level there were a few five hundred level students were in the church so this guy very very huge tall guy like this just comes to me and says sister now holds me by my neck I like now working out and I'm like <laughs> me in my head I thought this guy was in 600 level or 500 level because if he was so big I'm not I'm not even I kid you not I'm not exaggerating this guy this guy is one of the tallest guys in the school and he's now buff so it's not like I really I literally thought he was in 600 level so 
So guys, my next sister, what are you wearing? You can see your singlet that I should go back and change. What? This is not what a man do. It can't be possible. I was like, excuse me. It's meant to show. Like, I'm using it to cover the space that was there. It's meant to show. I was so annoyed. Like, because he called me out. I'm sure people are looking. Because <laughs> I literally looked like his daughter. I literally looked like his daughter. So I went back to sit. I was so. I didn't even see my friends again that day because they had already found where to sit. They had a place to sit. So I was sitting like somewhere that was completely different with different people that I didn't know. And my mood was like off. After the church, I said, This guy. This guy, I'm going to, no matter how tall he is, I'm going to meet him. I was like, sorry, excuse me. He's like, oh. He was not looking at me as if he didn't know me. I was like, I said, sorry, you stopped me this morning. And I didn't really like him. I just gave him a piece of my mind. And I asked him, well, what level are you? He said, I told him he's a hundred level. Huh? <laughs> he's a hundred level. I, like... Girl, I, I felt so, I felt so embarrassed. I was like, and I, I was even like seriously giving him so much respect. Like this guy is six hundred level. This guy is definitely six hundred level. So that, that's that my most embarrassing moment. Sis came to school. The first day, everybody was like signing in. Okay, see how the process of signing in was. So there's this log book and everything. You you literally don't know anybody. You don't know anybody. There's a book and you, you like the room number is there. You write your name. Your roommates will come. The person that is supposed to be your roommates come and write their name next. So now me, I came to school. I was just looking at all the names there, looking at all the names, to look to know where I write, like. To know where I write my name, so I start with my roommates. And I saw this number that was like foreign. I was like, oh, I want the foreigner to my room. I want, I want someone yes, for it to my roommate. Oh yeah. I just carried myself. Wrote my name there. Like literally the next day, I went to see my friend, which was like, which was in another hall. She wasn't doing medicine, so she was in another hall. And medical students are in one hall. Like, we are away from every other person she gets. So, I left my phone in home because he had died and I wanted it to charge. So, I left it there and went. I unlocked my room because she wasn't around. I locked my room and put it in the bowl. And I, was like, I didn't come for orientation. So, I didn't know that, okay, this floor is first floor, so you must put the key in. First floor, like in the bowl for first floors, I be the first floor bowl or anything. I didn't know where to put the key. I just came downstairs. Oh, okay, there are bowls here. You're meant to keep your key inside. So I put my key inside any bowl there. Probably she came back, like at a particular time. See, she searched for the key in the first floor bowl and she didn't see it. Nothing told her, like nothing told her that she should cuckoo check other bowls. Martin told her that okay, since it's not in first floor, it might be in another bowl. I don't know how maybe this how other bowl reason. But nothing told her. But the SOPs on duty, she told all of them they were calling my phone, calling my phone, calling my phone. So the excellent they called my parents. All the way. They called my parents to call my phone. And my parents they calling my phone. And Mind you, my phone was in the room. Like, I was so annoyed. I was pissed because when I came back to the hall, everybody was shouting at me. And after that incident, I and my roommate never got along like throughout the entire semester. Not because of I did not, I was keeping beef. I just not. I think I didn't like her vibe, and she didn't like my vibe. So it was a major agreement. We were just not cool. What three main challenges did I face as a first year student? First year medical student. Yeah, number one was that I had to go to class very late, like most of the time. So one challenge was that I always stayed at the back. 
either at the back or in the middle and um shorts you're like looking at okay you're going to wake up by six for sure for sure because class by seven and you wake up by six and you just need 30 minutes and also to brush your bit and go to class but i'm telling you by six people are moving to class and people i don't understand they'll go to class and they'll save seats for their friends and everything and you know the thing i and my group of friends were always coming at the same time like we're always coming to class at the same time and it's as if it's war like it's actually literally a fight no matter what time you come they very there. There is this particular set. Of, there are this. There is this particular set of people that are always in front. So that was a challenge. Like always sitting at the back or in the middle. Yeah. The second challenge I had was reading at night. So really, we are scared of being cut off. So reading at night that was like one of my major challenges. My third challenge is like sun. Amayo is the name of my home. And it's like at the end of the school, like it's at the end. So for you to go to classes at SAT, it's like especially if you're working, if you're working so far, and getting to class early is a problem because you're working a really, really long distance under the scorching sun. That's like the most unbearable thing, and the distance is now so long. So, <laughs> so before you reach class, you turn. Don't chaco. So like the sun is like a major challenge. Well guys, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for those that are going to watch this video up to this moment. You guys are the real MVP here. Yeah? You know, subscribe, comment, like, share this video guys. Don't forget to share this video and don't also forget that I post every Saturday. I post every Saturday. And sometimes something just to keep. And I'll see you guys next time. Pure vibes.